Welcome to Harris Corporation and today's celebration. I'm Sheldon Fox. I'm group president for Harris Government Communications Systems, which is headquartered right here on our Palm Bay campus. And I couldn't be more pleased to celebrate our grand opening. I worked on our Palm Bay campus for more than 30 years, and you really can feel the excitement and the energy that comes with this new engineering environment that we've built for our people. So as many of you, of you know, this campus is a very, very special place. It's a place where 55 years ago, in the summer of 1959, Harry Pollack, then the mayor of Palm Bay, joined the leadership of Radiation, a predecessor company to Harris, to break ground on what is today our Palm Bay complex. Back then, a few hundred employees from Radiation moved into 100,000 square feet across four buildings on this site. But as you can see, we've grown a bit since then. Today we have 3,000 people occupying more than 2 million square feet in 50 buildings here in Palm Bay. And that growth is due to the creativity and the innovation Harris engineers have brought to solving some of our customers' toughest problems. For Harris, this new high-tech center represents an important investment in our future growth. It's a place with innovation, with advanced labs, collaborative workspaces, it's a place that's designed to incubate and grow the technology solutions that will serve our customers all around the globe. It's a cornerstone of our long-term initiative to modernize Harris facilities and provide our employees with a world-class work environment that fosters innovation in technology as well as excellence in operations. Simply put, this $130 million investment will allow us to attract and retain some of the best, most talented people on the planet. But of course, that wouldn't be possible without the support of Mayor Capote in the city of Palm Bay, Senator Nelson, Congressman Posey, Governor Scott and his team at Enterprise Florida, the Space Coast Economic Development Commission, among many others. Look at the change. What has happened not only to East Central Florida, but to the changes of what a company like this are contributing to our economy as well as to our national security. Whether it's in the intelligence arena or in defense, whether it's communications, whether it is the future of air traffic control, whether it is the joint tactical radio system that is still a large part of the actual profits of this corporation, whether it is the future expansion into the commercial area of all of these high-tech products, this company is on the vanguard. Harris recruits and trains some of the greatest technological minds in the world and they become our neighbors right here, good neighbors. Harris has always been such a great corporate citizen and very, very, very often an integral part of good things that happen in Congressional District 8 and throughout East Central Florida. This is a great day for Palm Bay, I have to say. Uh, I've been looking forward to this, to, uh, in sitting, in 2011, we were right over there we gathered to announce this great project. And here we are three years later, and the vision is a reality. We as a city are so proud of our partnership with Harris Corporation to make this happen. They say sometimes you must move mountains for success. In this case, we just moved the street around. The realignment of Troutman and Claremont Street was a big piece to this puzzle. I am so proud to say that our public works department and the professional engineers and staff worked so hard and partnered with Harris Corporation and its engineers to make this happen. On time, first of all, and on budget, which the citizens love that. As a city, we are known as a hub for technology, innovation, and advanced industry. Thanks in part to companies like Harris Corporation, here in Palm Bay. Recognized as one of the top cities in the country for high paying jobs and advanced industry. We are so proud of that. 
Brookings Institute ranks Palm Bay and Brevard County in the top 10 for cities nationwide with high concentration of high paying job and high growth jobs. We came in at number seven, ahead of cities like Boston, Houston, and San Diego. Little Palm Bay, right? <laughs> in this case, you didn't know Palm Bay is the number one, as a matter of fact, number two city behind St. Pete in the state of Florida for millennials job seekers. Millennials, which is the next generation. We will control here in the city of Palm Bay, if we do it right, in Brevard County, to attract millennials to this great region that I call a diamond in the rough. We are so excited about these things that will be taking place in this new technology center. And we are happy to be partners with Harris Corporation. We're looking forward to future success, growth, and expansion here in the city. As I know, uh, we're looking to expand some more. I want to say congratulations to all of you, and thank you for your part in making Palm Bay one of the best cities in America. And I would like to say to the employees here in Harris, God bless you, God bless the leadership, and let's move forward and bring great things to Brevard County and Palm Bay. Thank you, again. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, cut. Cut. There you go. Fantastic.